Back down to 38 degrees in Grand Rapids. We've been slowly cooling down really since this morning. Our, our high for the day was at midnight at 51 degrees and we only hit 47 this afternoon. Winds are out of the north and west. So you can see much cooler air up in the UP and into Wisconsin. That's headed our way. Tomorrow is going to be the coldest day uh, really of the month and it looks like ending April at least on a nice warming trend, but it's not going to get too warm. Temperatures still going to be below average winds right now out of the west 10 to 15 miles per hour. Not terrible. No major gusts hasn't been too breezy out there today, but we do have a lot of moisture in this as well. So west northwest wind as that moisture continues to wrap around a very broad low pressure system. We do have a pretty good break from the moisture here in the West Michigan area, but we do see some light flurries uh, not only down near three rivers as temperatures are starting to cool just a little bit, but some up near US 10 and then some isolated sprinkles once you get along the immediate lake shore as well. So we'll just continue to track an on and off chance at these showers, but overall we've been a little less sunnier than average and right around normal for rainfall. So even anything we see tonight will just stick uh, right with what we've been seeing about 5% lower on uh, sunshine possible through the first three weeks and just a tenth of an inch of precipitation below average. Good news is for the week going forward, relatively dry and some sunnier stretches of weather are ahead after we get through tomorrow. So we'll see some light, light flurries uh, mixing in with some showers in the morning hours. Should be a drier afternoon. Pop up showers Monday and Tuesday. Looks like a dry middle and end of the week before we do track more rain increasing. Looks like another system pretty much right in line with what we had seen this weekend. So unfortunately it could be three weekends of wet weather ahead. So here we go with future track. Looks like some breaks in the clouds this evening, but we do see redevelopment of some moisture, maybe a few flurries mixing in. It's going to be isolated, not looking at major accumulations, and a lot of it will turn back to rain by the time we get to about 9 or 10 a.m. Notice more moisture on the other side of the lakeshore by the time we get to Sunday night. We may even see a few breaks in the clouds Sunday afternoon as well. And then Monday morning, track a similar chance, some frost, uh, maybe even a freeze warning could be issued as temperatures get into the upper 20s, lower 30s. But then through Monday afternoon, again, we tracked a chance at a few of those pop up showers. The week as a whole, uh, precipitation wise, this takes us through Friday, not looking at a ton uh, in total between tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday's pop up showers, just isolated tenths of an inch. Some areas may see a little bit more, but temperatures going to be cool tomorrow. 45 Grand Rapids, 44 Fremont, 43 Holland and South Haven. Notice uh, the Temperature trend from the jet stream, we stay on the cool side. We're not looking at temperatures to get much uh, back into the 50s or really sustained uh, in the 60s. But thankfully, we do get back out of the 40s after Monday, 51 on Tuesday, mid 50s, Thursday and Wednesday. Maybe on Friday, we're back to the 60s, but Saturday looks like another chance for rain might be tough to get back to that 60 degree mark.